What's up you guys? Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video here on my platform. Now I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a new video. I apologize for this. And today you guys are actually getting two video instead of one, which is kind of like a buy one get one free deal. Instead of only getting one video, you're getting two, which I think it's a pretty good deal. Now in today's content, I actually want to show you guys the process that I go through when I wash the car. But because it's a pretty big process, I have to section that video in three parts. Part one is gonna be the washing, part two is gonna be the waxing, and part three is gonna be interior detailing. So you guys today are actually gonna get part one and part two, and I definitely advise you to go ahead and watch the whole part one, and at the end, you're actually gonna be able to click on part two. And just as an FYI, there is some pretty cool gimbal and drone footage on part two, so you definitely wanna stick around and watch both videos. I've mentioned that before, you guys know that I love the Type R, and I also love the color on that car. I think black looks amazing, but one thing about a black car and a daily drive is that it gets dirty so, so quick. And you see, I've watched the car about a week ago, and if you start looking some places, it's already looking like Crap. Now, I did want to give a shout out to Matt at Neil Huffman Auto Group. He allowed me to actually use the indoor washing bay to be able to clean the car and record my video. So, massive, massive thank you to you, Matt. I appreciate that, brother. All right, and don't forget to check the description below. You guys are gonna find my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter. Go ahead and give me a follow on those platforms. Give me some likes. I would definitely appreciate that. And then in the description, you're also gonna find links to Amazon for all the product and tool that I use to wash the car. That way, if you guys wanna get one of those tools of one of the product for you, you can just click on the link and you can go ahead and uh, get it for yourself. Oh, and I also work on a brand new introduction for my videos, so I hope that you guys are gonna enjoy it. And drop a comment below, just let me know what you think. But you know what? Go ahead and enjoy part one of my detailing process. So I always start with the rim and first I'm going to spray it off with water and then I'm actually going to use like a soft brush to go over the entire tire and also go over the rim in order to loosen all the dirt and all the dust that has accumulated uh, over the past few weeks on the rim. And I don't know if you've noticed at the beginning, but you could definitely see that that rim was like extremely dirty. And that actually comes from that massive braking uh, system made by Brembo. It's a pretty big uh, braking pad, and so it actually generates a lot of uh, braking dust. The next step is actually going to use a Maguire washing mitt. I'm going to go over through every spoke, every crevices, just making sure that I get all that nastiness of that rim as much as I can. And then the third tool I'm using is actually like a two-in-one tool. One side is actually gonna clean the lug nuts really good. And the other side, I actually use it to clean the inner barrel of the rim, which is also an area that uh, gets a lot of accumulation. Um, and that's definitely a tool that I love. I discovered it uh, a few weeks ago and I went ahead and buy it. So if you guys want to get one for yourself, definitely check the link in the description below because I love the tool. You can see this is the back one. The back one are usually a lot less dirty and that's because the braking system is a lot smaller. But I'm gonna go through the exact same process to 
make sure that I get those rims very, very clean and really, really shiny. All right, so now we're gonna start on the actual car. As you can see, I have a foamer attachment on my hose, uh, and I actually filled it with Maguire Gold Class. Perfect. This is a product that I've been using uh, for my past few wash, and I am very, very happy with the results uh, with that soap. And as you can see, I'm gonna to try to uh, go ahead and spread the all car, that way the soap can actually start working on all the dirt and bugs that I've accumulated. Uh, I do drive that car as a daily and it does tend to uh, get dirty very, very quick. I'm actually going to use a chemical guy washing mitt. I went with chemical guy because I wanted something a little bit more fluffy to be easier on the paint. And I'm going to go ahead and scrub the all car. Uh, just make sure that I get every single spot. I am using the two uh, bucket methods. So I'm going to have one bucket with uh, Maguire uh, Gold Class product. And then I'm going to have another bucket where I actually just rinse the mitt to make sure that I remove all the the nastiness that's accumulated on it but um, in this process i'm just gonna go over the all car um, and then after that i'm just gonna rinse it real good to remove all the soap of the car which is actually drying pretty pretty fast starting the drying process uh, it is a two-step process I'm actually gonna start with my leaf blower and I'm gonna get most of the water off of the car the reason why I use my leaf blower is because it allows me to go through all the little crevices and door jam that retain so much water after I've cleaned the car so I'm gonna go over the whole car and just make sure that I get most of the water and as you're actually gonna see in the front bumper there is this little like plastic grill that just retain water so much and so the leaf blower is definitely a good tool to use here. Now once I'm done with the leaf blower I'm just gonna use Maguire drying towel just to go over the whole car and make sure that there is no standing water remaining and once this step is done the car is actually going to be ready for my next process which is going to be the waxing process so i'm going to let you guys enjoy the end of that video and i'm going to see you at the very end um so yeah just enjoy
thank you guys for watching today's video i hope that you enjoyed it if you did go ahead and smash that like button and then don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already there's a lot more content coming to it so that's the best way for you guys to stay up to date with everything drop a comment below if you want to ask me a question or have any feedback i hope that you guys enjoyed the introduction as well that's the introduction that i'm going to use in most of the video that i'm going to upload on the channel and then also do not forget to click on part two that way you guys are going to see the waxing process and like i said at the beginning there's some amazing gimbal and drone footage so that's definitely something that you do not want to miss but you know what this video this vlog is officially over i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i'm going to see you back real soon